Souls RNG has come a long way since the first day it got released. After many months of hard work, it has successfully made an army of locked-in people. As an adult man, nothing makes me more excited than uh, spending 12 hours a day to get the most mid-aura there is. But a lot of things are going to change for uh, this game. The thing with this game is you basically have nothing to do for the whole day, which gives people enough time to make the craziest cutscenes to ever exist. And as an artist myself, we are going to rate these auras. Now, keep in mind, I am extremely talented. You've probably probably seen this before. This is what I draw when I uh, create a thumbnail, and this is what someone else does for me. I would say it looks exactly the same. Let's start with Overture History, which is a pretty cool aura. You can stop time with it, and right now the cutscene is pretty plubby, so uh, let's see what the new one looks like. After a long two weeks and a mental breakdown, it is finally done. My most ambitious concept. 42,000 objects for a cutscene. Overture History. Here we go. <laughs> okay we're getting to a point where people straight up are starting to make hollywood movies for for just an aura there's no way there's so much work. There's so much work that went into this. Just, just for a split second. Keep in mind, most people are never going to find this. This is extremely rare. And this guy swallows two weeks of his life for an absolute beauty. It is insane. This is insane. Oh, and, the, and the music, good. Thumbs up. 10 out of 10. We're starting very strong. This is going to be a difficult for anything that's coming up. Souls RNG, please, you know what you have to do. What about Bloodlust cutscene? Here we go. Ooh, I love the hands. Your blood. This can't work. Ooh, okay. You know, I don't think you want to have an aura or, or, or a cutscene this good. Imagine seeing this bloodlust after getting such a cinematic experience. This is just straight up insane. Like, th th we've already done a cutscene video, but, you know, some of them are... You can tell some of them are fan-made, but this is so professional. Bro, why is this guy making cutscenes for R for Souls RNG? Like, go, go Hollywood. Worst part is this poor guy. Only has a thousand likes on this video. That is not fair. This guy made Gargantua remake. Looks like Celestial. Oh. Wow. The music. Okay. Oh, the pop-up. What? Again, imagine seeing the first, like, five frames. You think- You straight up think you're getting absolute garbage, but then it says, No. You are getting the one and only. There's nothing else. Dude, this has... It has so many particles. You can just... You can smell your computer just from watching this video. Like, if any kid is playing this on a tablet, it is done. Like, that is... That might be one of the main reasons they cannot do these epic cutscenes. But on the other hand, you know, it's just the video. They could probably get away with it. This one has to get in. This one has to... This is an era 9. No-brainer. 10 out of 10. Actually, let's give it a 9 out of 10. This one wasn't 40 seconds long. I didn't feel that cinematic experience I want to get when I when I spent months getting a, a giant black hole. This is like almost a month-old video, and it's the Oblivion cutscene. So this guy actually made the... Or, I guess he made the original cutscene. It was just black and white. So they've added in the colors, or maybe... That is basically it. Okay, a little more wild. A little crazier. It continues. Dude, that, that ending is awesome. Poor guy. That was legit. That was that was legit for Oblivion. Something's telling me that there's going to be more of these like epic cutscenes. Impeached cutscene concept. Okay, with a crown. I guess you are a king if you. Oh no, that is it. That is it. It's not bad. On one side, if you see the crown, you get hyped up for a sovereign, which is basically like the, it's like 
three times more expensive. And it does feel a little clickbaity. Like once you see the crown, you get super excited, but then it fades away. It turns into darkness. And uh, then you get this, three spinning balls instead of uh, a throne. Next one is gonna be oppression, which is one of the craziest, rarest things in the entire game. Most of you've probably seen the cutscene before. Just imagine, you have to be the chosen one to get this. Out of the millions of people playing this game, only like a couple hundreds have it. And this is it. This is what you get, just a heart, a broken heart. And that's it, that's it. Are you kidding me? Let's be honest, okay, the aura looks amazing, but come on, this would give me even more depression. And I thought this game was supposed to cure it. New oppression cutscene, is it better? It's Howard Rose Stanley, finally facing the god, but it's not Ooh, okay, okay. That makes sense. It is supposed to feel like a horror. This is supposed to be the aura you sell your soul to. And this this video does give you the feeling. It's good. Perfect. It's gonna be extremely funny if, if like, uh, let's say in three, four months, we get a bunch of new updates and the main thing there, the Souls RNG devs are gonna do is just make up huge, long cutscenes. So everyone is gonna gamble just to see a cinematic uh, art piece. Okay, Chromatic Genesis. This one's a little older, but it looks, it still looks really good. You know, you get all the words, a giant star, and that's nice. Is really nice. Chromatic Genesis is like one of the only things I have. And again, you know, like I want to feel special. I want to be feel super special getting this one. It took a lot of time, lots of restless nights, and this is what I get. Which, let's be honest, it's not bad. I want a train to deliver me the good news. Ideally, it should be Santa Claus. Okay, this one's for the new glitch. It has the same vibe as Oppression glitch. Yet again, doesn't have that that cool of a cutscene. Epilepsy warning. It's gonna be very flashy. Okay. That is good. That is good. I love how it just constantly swaps colors. This is what you want to have but when you glitch the, the system. Instantly from the second you see this cutscene, you go, you know you get a glitch. It is very different from everything else. Again, I know like glitch has a cutscene, but... Guys, comment down below if, if you like this one. I, I think it's really cool. And this one deserves to be in it. Layers. For anyone that doesn't know what layers is, it is basically the TikTok version of an aura. If you have a problem to stay focused for two seconds like me, then uh, you need this in your life. This is it. This is what it does. It just flash. It just gives you a blinding flash every second. Unfortunately, because of this, it was removed. Probably because it would uh, cause a lot of harm. It doesn't feel particularly safe watching this for like an hour straight, even though I would do that. Either way, this is what the cutscene would look like if it was in the game. Yep. Good. Makes perfect sense. You got the you get the layers cutscene. Technically speaking, this might be added later on, just like the sovereign was. Let's not lose hope. It still might happen. But this is another oppression cutscene, but this time it's it is a very long one. So strap yourselves in. Here we go. Flash warning. It was so powerful and unstable enough to cause flaws in the world. Okay. The authorities of the world gathered their strength to oppose it, but failed. But, okay, I can't read this. Come on. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. This is just the right amount of bling this uh, aura deserves. Question is, is it better than the first one? On the other side, watching this cutscene, I'm not gonna play. Watching this cutscene is probably not good for your health. It is going to blind you, but I want to be blinded if I spend months of my time of suffering. Okay, this is uh, the stigma badge, I think. A big circle, a cult. Looks like oppression. Oh wait, it's the... Where is it? It's so, it's so cool. Why can I not have one? Is this even a concept? Isn't this like what it looks like? Okay, if I think about it, it's pretty funny that the developers made an aura with a cutscene that like no one is gonna ever have. But there's just something to the exclusivity. Natural, what is natural? Is it the 80,000 one? Dude, there's no way they're going to give. Hold on. That's it. 
They don't even show it because no one even knows what natural looks like. This is it. So this is all you get. Imagine seeing this or imagine seeing this cutscene every time you get a natural. But what about the new ruins aura cutscene? Guys, you've probably seen ruins before. It's not complete yet, but it's gonna be one of the bigger auras. You have like a whole building behind you. I promise you all the women will follow you. What about the cutscene for such a rare aura? Green? Wait. That's it? Oh, no. No, that, that cannot be it. Bro, imagine getting 500 mil. This is this is going to be a super rare. Imagine getting 500 mil and just seeing a basic plebby star. This, this is what natural should have. And this poor thing. Dude, I, no, 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 no. We gotta make a cooler one. It's a nice cutscene, but this is 500 million. It requires a higher budget. But this cutscene is for Zeus, 4.5 mil. This is too much. This is the budget. Thousands of dollars for just the Zeus. This does not deserve so much love. It's just Zeus. No one likes Zeus. Oh no, even this? You get a fancy font at the end? What about this glitch concept? It's very similar to the one we already have, but it has more bling, more flashy. Waiting for the drop. That's good, that's good, that's good. Galaxy. Five million. This is, this doesn't deserve so much. I'm done. I hope the next one is gonna be even better. Chromatic Diva. What? What is Chromatic Diva? It's a nice start. The whole city. Oh, there it is. So that's possibly like a new aura. Sucking out the city vibes. Symphony. Okay. Why is this not in? Why why is this not in the game? Archangel cutscene. My favorite aura. Best of the best. Straight up from heaven. <laughs> this is so this is so nice. Oh man. Oh the the sounds of heavens. You are evolved. You are done. You are the chosen one. Like even the star gets its own little halo. That's how that's how you know it's a good aura. Yeah, man. This is the same thing, man. This is supposed to be in the game. Just to keep your attention, last roll before we go. One last roll. We got a natural. I'm out. Bye.